Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for joining us at Pike Place Market uh, on this beautiful Seattle day. Um, my name is Alex Apostolopoulos. I'm one of the founders of Elanos Real Greek Yogurt. And um, I'm here to, with um, our friend Nicole Vogel from Seattle Met. I'm so glad to be here on a beautiful day here at the market, of course, where it's always sunny, right? It's always sunny. <laughs> it couldn't be a more perfect day today. It's all been a little hot in the stand. Yeah. What are we here today to talk about? Well, what we're here to show you is our what what we're here to show you is our Pike Place collection. So these are flavors that were that we made down here that we got so much, they got so popular down here that we had to bring them to uh, our to our grocery grocery stores. Um, it's an alter, we call the Pike Place collection because it's a really a, just a thank you to Seattle. And Elanos grew from um, from all the word of mouth from being down at the Pike Place market, and we just want to say thank you for all your support. And um, we couldn't be where we were today without Seattle at all. Yeah, I mean, goodness. What, tell us a little bit about how Elano started. So for those that don't know, we started in uh, 2013. On July 5th, 2013, we scooped our first uh, cup of yogurt down here on the corner of Pike Place and Pike Street, right underneath the sign. Uh, my business partner, Bob Klein, and his wife own this produce stand, Corner Produce. and. Um, Avon used to be a flight attendant, fly from a fly to Australia. That was her route, and we'd be buying our family's yogurt and smuggling it back <laughs> through many borders to get back to a uh, back to Seattle. And as it got, as she was buying it for friends and family, it got bigger and bigger. The, she all all of a sudden was suitcases full of yogurt. Uh, she eventually convinced us over a period of ten, maybe ten years, oh, to wow. try make yogurt here in Seattle. So me and my dad moved over mm -hmm. here. Uh, and we started making yogurt and it started right here. What a great Seattle story. And it's so great to be here and to be, you know, coming out of COVID. Outside. You know, it's, yeah, we're not, we've both been <laughs> vaccinated. We don't yeah. have our masks on, but I think we're gonna go in and taste some of that yogurt, yeah, let's right? Go, let's go in some and taste let's it. Let's do it. Okay, sorry. Hey, so as you can see, um, it, that's our case from today. You can see uh, our, our orange turmeric, our seasonal rhubarb. Um, passion fruit out the back there is my favorite. Um, so there are flavors you can't get anywhere else but down here at my place. Yeah, there's some special ones. We're always mucking around with flavors and different uh, different ones. So we always we always have one or two that are just special for Pike Place. And that's, pretty, that's the origin story of these flavors. This is how that happened, just us trying flavors with the team and uh, using ingredients from what's around and what's seasonal. So if you come down here, you might help decide the next Eleanor's flavor, right? Well, we're always here for feedback. So if you, if you want to come down here, make sure you're tasting something and let us know what you like. Uh, yeah. The, so as you can see, we've got some interesting ones. There is a De La Renti olive oil and pink sea salt. That one's the one from De La Renti market across the road from us at Pike Place. Um, there's a latte, uh, mangoes from Australia. Uh, the seasonal rhubarb's in there too. Yeah, so all the seasonal flavors yeah. are in and around Seattle, right? Yeah. Great. It's, it's, it's always you fun. You sometimes put a buzz in them with, you know, Joe's coffee yeah. chocolate. Oh, yeah, right? that, Joe's chocolate down the road sometimes in that latte. That's a really good flavor. Yeah, so real Seattle traditions, right? So are we going to taste some yogurt today? I think that's the plan. Oh, so, so I think everyone, everybody else have their yogurt? So we've got a, the apple crisp, the coconut cream pie, and a, a favorite is the key lime pie. I think that's a free, like early favorite. Early favorite is what you're hearing? Yeah. Uh, not my favorite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually mine, but not everyone's. Okay. So do you want to start with, the, we'll start with apple crisp. This one is, this one's good. This one's really good. So we work, um, what, the way to eat it. So you got the crumble and uh, our yogurt. You peel off the lid. Okay. All right. Let's I got to do this. Let's I don't want to screw it up. Has everybody got theirs? Right? Yeah. Tell me that. I want to. I want to see the chat. Did you guys? Did you guys eat it without? Oh uh, no! <laughs> Tell us. 
Tell us the truth. So be honest. This is a part where you get to play with it. You can control how much crumble you want it on it. This is actually a uh, so a spice crumble made. If anyone's been down to our market, they know how popular our regular crumble is. But uh, this is actually our spice crumble based on the recipe. It's the recipe is our actually an Anzac cookie cookie from um, Australia that we use. What kind of cookie? An Anzac biscuit. Well, an Anzac oh, biscuit. Okay. Yeah. And then it, we developed a little bit more for what's um, what's on the yogurt you see. So this one's baked that, and we put some spices in there. Yeah. So let's let's so dig in. So it's got. <laughs> it's usually your, when you taste it, you can taste it. It's your four spices. So it's. Yeah. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I interrupted you. No, Tell no, me no, your spices. No, no, no. It's all good. It's what, what we say in Ellis is you want to go straight down. You can't. You want to be able to. We put so much effort into making this puree, the yogurt, and the crumble. That you want to be able to taste each one, like just how good it is. So try not to resist your urge to st stir and eat it like that. Oh. Yeah. Eastern that, Washington apples, right? Yeah, it's um, they're honey crisp apple. Oh, that's my favorite apple. And we stew them uh, for a few. We stew them up and then put them with a lot of um, the same spices that we put in the crumble. How delicious. Yeah, and that one that one is full in a cup. It's kind of um not fitting for today that on a sunny day, but yesterday the other day when it was rainy, perfect perfect flavor. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So what's our next flavor? So next one is the coconut cream pie. That feels like balmy, eighty-five degrees. Yeah, now we can there, pretend. Now we can pretend we're on a beach. Right. Local coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe they grow in Menanchi. <laughs> If you just keep going east, <laughs> yeah, just, until you get all the way back to Asia. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, favorite one. Favorite one so far, the coconut. So the same thing. This, this, this. Every flavor that we do is as a result of a lot of testing and making it perfect. We don't put anything out there that we don't like. So this coconut crumble in particular was works for weeks of work of how many, how much. How much coconut? How much uncooked uh, raw coconut? How much toasted coconut? It was, it, it was the, a battle. It was a battle with the family. I, I love uh, Jessica saying that this yeah. was, that was her best, the best one so far. That was very clever. This is one of my favorites. This one so. now? Okay, let's try. No. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, that coconut cream is really good. Something I love. Oh. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, okay. so, but wait. Where's Tom Douglas's coconut cream pie? Oh, Can we call it a smackdown or something? We do a do a yogurt wall. <laughs> yogurt v pie. But as you as um or yogurt ass. <laughs> we could we could try compare them, but yeah, it's a good. I think this is, as we said, this is a real thank you to Seattle for everything that they've done to help us grow as from that first day here at the market to where we are now. Yeah, it's a good time to remember yeah. local Seattle businesses, and it's such a tough year, right? Yeah. So. It's wonderful to have all of this sort of celebrated market. It's been great to see like the life returning back into the market. I've, I've been here the whole year and it seeing less and less people come through throughout the year was pretty sad. But now it seems the weather's coming back and people are out here. It's great. Yeah. And visitors again, right? <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. So what's our next one? Let's do key lime pie. Another balmy yeah. flavor. So summer. So pretend you're on the beach. So what's our what's our crumble on this so one? This one is an ambergram. So we make it. It's based on a, so more of an American cookie. This is a graham oh, graham cracker. Sure. So we're gonna do the same process. Remember, you're gonna taste that yogurt this time. So as again, we're gonna scoop down. I just want to. This is where you can check how thick our yogurt is. So it's, it takes five days. Someone's looking after it every day of like every day of the week to all through its all process from when we get the milk from Linden from our friends at uh, Edeline uh, to where it becomes yogurt, which is usually about a five day process. Right. Okay. All right. And so I just want everybody to know, I hope you're paying close attention because we're actually going to, you know, Alex is giving away some of the answers to some of the questions that could win you prizes later. So I hope you're paying very close attention. I don't cheat like that. <laughs> <laughs> cheat. <laughs> this is help. Uh, All right, wait. Coconut. Oh, what else are we hearing about? What's everybody think? Key lime sublime. Key lime sublime. All right. So now we got to put it in. Did you, you already tasted yours. I didn't even taste mine. Right. But yeah, that. Um. Uh. So my partner Bob would whenever if you have it down here and someone's holding up a spoon, 
and telling you to keep them keep him hanging that's bob he's trying and it usually works he gets people sampling that's delicious oh my gosh okay everybody have their favorite favorite is easily key lime then apple and coconut okay interesting key lime sublime we want to hear everybody else Ooh, yeah, that is a good yeah. The key lime is actually based, if anyone's had our lemon curd, we kind of got that idea from the lemon curd. So so it's a, it's actually using eggs too. So the same local eggs that we use uh, for the lemon, car, lemon yeah, curd. Yeah, we want to see your awesome adjectives to describe it. <laughs> 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 We're the words people over at Seattle. <laughs> I like That's emojis. Great. Isn't that emojis will work too, I think. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we love those. Those are so good. I kind of want to like just you know, move everybody aside and eat yours and mine. <laughs> All of our As we move them over. <laughs> We're excited. We've got some special guests today too, right? Yeah, some people are going to be. We've got some friends that are going to be joining us in other family business owners in a uh, in the Seattle market. Okay. Oh, drum roll! Dun, dun, dun. Oh, is yes, a drum roll? We do. Would you Would you like to announce who is coming? Uh, yes, we have Brian Canlis join us. Brian, there. Hi. <laughs> What's up, Alanis? Oh, it's so good. I think they got. Uh, I think he was the. I think he could be easily crowned the king of uh, pivoting during this difficult time. The king <laughs> yeah. of the pivot, but he's still like you're on fire. Did you know that? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, is it? There's like a fire up. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Am I really on fire? <laughs> <laughs> So uh, how, how's everything going? Oh man, it's it's been wild. It's been, uh, I'm exhausted and invigorated. It feels like you're at the end of a marathon and like people are, um, like there's people cheering, but you kind of want to just throw up. Um, the problem is at the finish line, we have to reopen this restaurant again. <laughs> uh, so, so no, no rest for the weary. That's like when's the rest part happen? Um, <laughs> you can see it, was, it was really cool. You know, we, I think we were the first restaurant to do something back in March. Uh, but now, and that seems smart at the time. But now I kind of wish we had just, you know, had that season where everyone just watched Netflix for a month, which we. <laughs> I know. Everybody said they got to the end of the internet. I'm like, I have not gotten to the end of the internet. I like what I, uh, plus, yeah, I have three tiny kids, all under five, and my wife is eight months pregnant. And we just moved our house yesterday. And I'm opening a restaurant, and it's just a little nuts. We should just keep talking, is what you're saying. Like no, more, great. more difficult on yourself. What else can we throw I in there? I know. I'm wondering. A fire. <laughs> a fire. Yeah. No, but I you tell you what. Um, we're also hopeful and stoked, and you know, we just hired this new executive chef, and yeah. she is like the best. Um, not only as a human, uh, but her talent makes people. Like the knives stop cutting and everyone stops and watches her. She's got wow. this. Uh, she just she has a talent level that is awe inspiring and it's really fun. And she's got this knife that's like this long. Yeah. And she was like on a nine year wait list for this master in Japan. And she like brings her knife out and everyone's like, the knife is out. Uh, <laughs> no one's allowed to touch it. She was um, she was trained in Japan and. Uh, Super intense, and I love her with my whole heart already. Oh wow! And I can't wait. I can't wait to Are you guys you release her TikTok video. Taste her food. No, everyone's asking, <laughs> and she will, she will quit her job. <laughs> uh, we we need her to stay, uh, but she has made me like swear a blood oath to never share that video. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was able to see a bit of her on a, I think it was Q13. That was a telling her backstory. That was really good. Yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations. Yes. That's so exciting. Thank you. So Thank you. You're just like getting to the finish line and just starting all over again. Maybe we can uh, talking about Canlis again. Let's. Uh, what's your, what was what's your favorite dessert? Like, what do you, what do you have a favorite dessert at Canlis? Or you've done one? Well, uh, yeah. So here's a fun fact. Um, yeah. When I was a kid, uh, like 16, 17, I used to wash dishes in in the kitchen. And back then we didn't even have a pastry or dessert department. The, uh, the dishwashers 
would listen over the speaker for the chef to call out desserts. And we take our gloves off, wash our hands, and run over and make the desserts. So you were a dishwasher and the pastry person. Um, and I, we, we have, we've had one dessert on the menu that hasn't changed for years. There's only two things on the menu that are old. The camel salad and this dessert. It's the it's the right. souffle. Uh, and I've probably made a thousand of those souffles myself um, with uh, with my washed but slightly grubby like dishwasher hands back in the okay. 80s. <laughs> well, that's the that, visual. That has, that's the flavor you want. Yeah, and it, it's uh, and it, and it's made with it's made with orange curacao. And whenever I like. Uh, eat that dessert, I'm like flooded with nightmares of like 10 hour shifts of washing dishes and getting yelled at by the chef for not being fast enough, but also it's so delicious. So my favorite dessert is that souffle. Oh, well, that's awesome. I'm going to go try it. I, I had the pleasure of going with your yurts during winter and I got to try the s'mores you did. Those yeah, so we're much doing better. s'mores on the I'm table. Really you as a 16 year old were doing dishes because during COVID, we can't get our kids to do dishes. <laughs> no way, no how. So, yeah, I well, I made like seven bucks an hour. So, that was <laughs> awesome. wow, you were in the money. Yeah, you guys have I've pivoted so amazingly, and I'm sure Thank that you. has been exhausting, but it's brilliant to watch and inspiring. It's been it's been exciting. We've been just held on the shoulders of this city, this community. Uh, we we're able to raise over a quarter million bucks. Um, during this time for amazing organizations around the city. So it's been a, it's been one of the most rewarding and hardest and uh, kind of breathtaking years ever. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's been, a, it's been an interesting year. It's bringing a lot of I think, businesses together. It brought us together with the collaboration too. Yeah. It's just the local Seattle businesses, you know, working together. It's been, it's been, it's been a really good year. Yeah, it was it's so sort of, fun. It's been heartening to yeah. watch everybody sort of reaching out and helping each other. So I mean, I feel like you know, this, it, it's it's so reminded us how everything is local, right? Ultimately, yes. It's, yeah. it's your main street. What's down the road? So now we really want to know what your favorite new Pipe Place collection yogurt is. Um, to me, know. it's it's uh, hands down coconut. It's uh it's like so it's, it's not showing off. It it's so confident. It like it knows what it wants to be and it's like subtle and like it it, it, it kind of leans back and it's like I'm coconut and I'm perfect. <laughs> um, I, I, the first time we talked about flavors together, you you kind of said the same thing. It's very subtle, it just knows what it uh, is. I, when you're talking about flavors. No, subtlety is confident, man. Yeah. I love it so much. It's brilliant. Thank you. That's so great. I was saying that in general, all the Eleanor's flavors, there there's a subtlety. Sometimes things hit you over the head and it's like, this is gonna be great. You know, you're like, but oh all caps. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you know that there's not one single grape in those. <laughs> right? Whereas this is like just eating away. It's just chowing down on the yogurt. I love but it. It's so from what it sounds like, you're just that's that's your finish line. The next thing for Canvas is opening those doors. Yeah, we um starting like that's the calendar behind me. I don't know. Um on June 9th, we open up reservations on the dining room floor at wow. noon. And on uh our first night of service will be July one. Okay, here we go. Wow. That's here we right. Go. The time that you guys started. Yeah. July fifth is their anniversary and now July one. What was the yeah. date of the original canvas? Uh December 11, nineteen fifty. Wow. 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 Yeah, so we are we'll be our seventy first year right now. That's good. Well, Congratulations. I, I know that, that we kind of missed on the seventieth. Is that what happened? <laughs> uh yeah, yeah we, we were gonna have a party instead. <laughs> uh we like made burgers and sat in an empty dark room, but uh it was great. It's all right, but thank you again for joining us and uh for everything. Oh, well, thanks for making the best damn yogurt in this whole country. Um, yeah. Keep doing what you guys do over there. It's great. Thanks, great Brian. to see you. All so the good to see you. It's always been interesting seeing what's next on the Canvas calendar. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye. And then we, I think we got the next guest. Yeah, we have a second guest. Drum roll. Drum roll. It's up. 
It's a. I don't know how to make a noise. Can you make the noises? Put an apple crumb all over the place. It's the another Seattle family business. It's a Rachel Yang from a Relay Restaurant Group. She's a Jewel, Revel, and Trove. Yes, uh, Rachel, we're so glad you're here. Can, can you come into the market? Hi, there you go. Are. Oh, there you are. Hey, how's it going? I'm I'm good. We're we're just like enjoying the Seattle weather. Oh my gosh, I know. What a day to do this like awesome deal because it is like the best day. I think though we can talk about how like happy and excited and you know just we are so like this is like the best day to do something this awesome. So I know that yeah. What am I the weather? One of my, uh, or just personally, one of my favorite places when we first moved to Seattle was Coin at the back of your restaurant in Fremont. That that deck. I used oh to look- no way! Yeah. Wow, that is so sweet. I know, awesome. Yeah, I mean it's crazy. So like, Jewel's been open for thirteen years. Rebel's been open for ten years already, and we cannot believe we're one of like oldies here in Seattle now. <laughs> oh my gosh, that seems like it. Doesn't it seem like yesterday? I know, I know. Well, so the funny thing is that because like, so we opened Rebel when Pike was, my, my first son was just born. So he's 10 now. So we have a lot of customers who's basically been coming to our restaurant with their kids and now they're like teenagers. And it's always so crazy to see this like connection with the community. And then your, your restaurant is basically this place where you can see the witness the entire history of the last 10 years. Yeah. And, and that restaurant especially is like just open. It, it, it does, it, you see everything. I loved it. It's like going to someone's house. Absolutely. Cause I'm in the kitchen. I want to see everything. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you were renovating too when, during the last few, did you just recently? Yeah, yeah. we actually just moved. Uh, we moved actually last year uh, to a same location, but brand new building. It's been amazing. We're so good to be back in Fremont neighborhood and everyone's been really amazing throughout this whole pandemic. So that's, that's really good to hear. And uh, nice to uh, virtually meet you too in person. Yeah, 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 so nice to meet you. We all get to like come back in person, you know, yeah. and actually see people. Be out and about. Yeah, seeing smiles again is like my favorite yeah. thing. We were just like, when's the last time I put on lipstick? <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> it's coming soon. We are all talking about, you know, the end is near. What what is a do you have a favorite fl- flavor at your restaurant? We asked R- 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 Brian the same question. Favorite dessert, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so we have actually kind of like what Brian was saying uh, when we first opened Jewel thirteen years ago. We have this one dessert that is called uh, our uh, Jewel Box. It's a uh, tapioca pearls in coconut milk. Then we finish with a little coconut semi freddo and then top it with the uh, ruby grapefruit bullet and a little bit of toasted coconut chips. So that is so our like super oh, light, God. really bright, it. it's, it's an awesome good. dessert. And yeah. being so hot right now, that actually does sound really it's good. It's a semi-fredo, <laughs> fredo layer. Well, That's you guys great. got awesome coconut yogurt. Well, I mean, so it's a funny thing. I was just gonna coconut. say, how, was, yeah. how did you find the coconut? Did it stack up? Oh my gosh. So we had some, so my, so I named my first son a uh, Pike. So I totally see how you guys make this connection oh, with the Pike Place oh, Market. Oh, oh, oh. It's a oh, center, I mean, so yeah, when we moved to city about 14 years ago, we were like, we like we fell in love with Pike Place. We wanted to name our son something that's iconic as the, the market here in Seattle. So everyone knows our son's name because his name is Pike. So when we when you guys gave us all these samples to taste, and I had to fight all different flavors with my kids because <laughs> they love it. So. No, and, and, and the, the best thing is everyone has their own favorite. So our oldest son loves the coconut. And then our younger one loves the key lime. And But then I had to go to a classic apple pie. So it's actually perfect. We we all have our favorites. And we no have fighting. to fight over them. No hiding in our house. We can also tell Pike all that we are great. Yeah, exactly. It's Pike's well, place. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, he's only 10 right now. So when he gets a little older, we're going to send it to you, send him to, over to you so he can work in your place. And then Bring you have some like, 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 Congratulations on all your success too with the, uh, the James Beard nominee. I know that's not no easy feat to get either. Yeah, and working next to your husband all day. I know. You know we've uh, all been family-owned businesses, so we know what that's like. 
Yeah, it's a mom and pop. Here we go. <laughs> We're still it's here. With Nicole and my dad here. It's, all, <laughs> it's, it's a different working environment. I can assure you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's go, What's next for you guys? What are you most well, excited about this coming no, up? No, we're we're re we are basically really grateful the fact that we are actually gone through this last year healthy. Everyone's you know well. Like, you know, our uh, we have even though our staff is really small right now, but they've done really incredible job. And then, you know, I think we're just really getting ready to kind of get into a full force back in the summertime. You know, we're excited to have like our customers back in our bar. We're excited to have people just coming in and enjoying food. I mean, like all those like basic small things that we've all been deprived of for last year yeah. and have. I mean, like we are ready. Right. The simple joys of sitting at a bar, right? I know. It's, it's, <laughs> right. I know absolutely. Right. Yeah. Amazing. I'm watching that. Okay. And, uh, at Jewel and Re like Rebel like Kitchen too, you want to see that uh, you want to be part of that too, though, like Kitchen Bar. Yeah, we have a great counter. Like we want people to be like right in front of our face. That's what yeah. we want. But, well, we're so glad. Yes, yeah. and thank you again for joining us and everyone at home. Yeah, it was really special to have some some people from other family businesses on. Yeah, Absolutely. and we're so happy you made it and succeeded through it, and so we look up and spending some time in your restaurants. So. Yeah, definitely yeah. coming us to come visit. I want to see the renovations. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Well, well, thank you so much for what you guys are what doing. It's amazing. Called? What is your dessert called? The coconut uh, so one? Our, it's, it's called Jewel Box. Oh, Jewel, Jewel Box. Box. Right. I yep. should have known that. Great. Well, <laughs> we're trying it. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. We'll have fun. Soon. Bye. Now I think do we have we have, we have trivia. Trivia. So we're gonna be giving away stuff. Is everybody ready? Are you guys ready online? I, apparently I cheated and gave away all the answers already. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. There's a couple of them though. So uh we're gonna start. You wanna do the first one? This one you haven't given away. Oh. But hopefully our everybody knows it, right? Okay, so all these Seattle natives and people there's probably a lot of Pacific Northwest natives. What year did the Seattle Space Needle open? So the first answer wins. The first a, one in the chat. Yep. We're, we have a special collector's uh, t-shirt from Seattle oh. Met and Rudy Willingham. There we go. We got, we got someone already. Seat Connect. Whoa, there's a lot of things happening oh, now. There's a lot. There's a lot of answers. There's a lot of 1962. I think it was a Seat Connect. I thought I saw I'm just C glad that we'll you know, verify. We'll, we will verify and we will get to you. But we're glad you all got it right. Oh, except for that so one person. Did, did we even get to what the prize was? Did I did. I always oh, said. Yeah, sorry. sorry. And so and we didn't tell them how to win, right? Okay. Which is first one. So, oh, yeah. C Connect. Whoever C Connect is, you were asked this. And, sorry. And Vanessa will be contacting you from Elenos and getting you your prize. All right. So now let's see what prize number two. Uh, oh, we got. Oh, we're gonna do another one. So we're gonna give another way. These are really cool T-shirts with Rudy Willingham. I don't know if you guys follow him on Instagram. He's a great local artist, and so we partnered with the Pike Place Market sign. It's a really cool T-shirt. So yeah, it, it actually has a Pike Place Market sign, and it'll, it'll remember the time that we were all locked down. I think. Yep, it will. So okay. So next question: What is the name of the famous bronze piggy located at the center of Pike Place Market? Oh wow. That what? How that, did they know? That, oh, when they put the question up before oh, I even finished. Oh, there we Thanks. go. Thanks for that. Oh, this Fred, uh, Fred, Porky, Rachel, or Piggy? Well, I'm not sure if Porky is a good one. <laughs> and Piggy, I kind of like Piggy. I like Fred. Oh. I think that's awesome. People names for uh, animals are always interesting. <laughs> yeah. Did you get a COVID animal? I didn't actually. No, you didn't. I, I didn't. Did. Well, wow. <laughs> Walter. I, I, I think there, there were some plants involved, but that no, no animals. <laughs> Are they still alive? Uh, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, to... okay oh. so, oh, Buffy. Oh, Buffy number two, two, Buffy, the Buffy, Buffy is the winner of that one. Buffy S, you won the second prize. All right, now we have a Met Market gift card, $25 Met Market gift card. Everybody picked up your your yogurt at Met Market and you can go back and buy some more with this. So, yeah, Met right. Market, one of our original partners that actually sold us, started selling our yogurt. Uh, what was the original name of the Seattle Met magazine? Oh, I didn't even. I was going to go on to the next question. Oh, how funny! Okay, let's see if they know. There's a wait. Do they? Anyone? What's the original name? 
Seattle. No. Seattle City Mag. We're getting no. come on. Oh, it's either Seattle. Oh, there we go. There it was the Seattle Mark. Metropolitan Annabelle. Was it Mark or Annabelle? Mark or Wait, what, what, we're getting people we to verify. In order. Yeah, it's hard so, to read on our sign, but we're getting people to verify. Yeah, there are people who are smarter at this than we are, so good to know, right? We seem to get all of them at once. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, we got tunes coming in from the market. Awesome. Okay, so now question four. We've got uh, another twenty-five dollar gift card from that market. What year did Pike Place Market open? 1907, 1940, 1999, or 1875? We needed some Jeopardy music for this, didn't we? Piggy <laughs> was the answer Piggy. just now. Piggy. Apparently, we're a little delayed. 1975. 1907. There we go. There it was. 1907. So, Woo! Oh, going All crazy right. again. Okay. So, we'll get to the answer on that one, too. The next question for another Met Market gift card is a uh, what year did Elnos open at Pike Place Market? Dun, dun, dun. What year? It wasn't it 1907. Wasn't 1907. <laughs> <laughs> he already told you. Are we not going? Like, yeah, they're probably good. Oh, there we go. No, not 2213. Hannah, <laughs> Hannah Ainsbury. Hannah Ainsbury on my list. Okay, Hannah. All right, you got a $25 gift card. And, and bonus, anybody know the day? Day, Bonus day questions. after Independence Day. That's it. We actually built the store on it. My first Independence Day in the U.S. was building this store. Well, that's the American <laughs> dream it right was. there. I love it. <laughs> Wonderful. There we go. That was right. July fifth. Okay. All right. Now you did give this one away. Did I? Yeah. Okay. The next question is another gift card. Another gift card. Met another market. Twenty-five dollar gift card. And then the last one's going to be a fifty dollar gift card. So. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right. Would you like to do this question? Sure. How many days does it take to make a batch of Eleanor's yogurt? We get the milk and then we strain it. So how we strain it by half? Five, five, five. We got. All right. I might, I might have cheated. I might have cheated. July fifth. Five <laughs> days. I love it. Okay. We think it's We think it's Thou Nugent. Thou Nugent. Thou Win. Okay. Great, now we're up to the $50 gift card. So this is the big one. Yeah, this is the one that I did not know and that I've been failing at miserably. It's all good. What? This is, so what is the best way to enjoy your Eleanor? What is the best way? This is stressful. Yep, that is. To scoop or eat <laughs> Eleanor's yogurt? Do you? 2013. <laughs> I think we're getting some late answers. But I don't want to stress you okay, out too so much, Ray. Do Brian. you blend it? Do you mix it? Raw. Do you stir it <laughs> vertically? Scoop. That <laughs> scoop. Makes sense. Somebody scoop. All right. With a spoon. There is that. <laughs> that's it. Uh, that's this is sort of like an old cheers answer. Scoop it layers. Don't stir. I like all these are all good answers. They're all good wow. answers. Okay. It looks like Andrea Lau, my the, the what we're hearing. Yeah, and I think that does it. Will they need to email? Is that what? I'll, I have their okay. okay, we have your contacts. We'll be reaching out. Uh, Vanessa will be sending out some messages. Thank you so much for having me. No. This has been so fun. No, thank you. Uh, we Before we uh, wrap everything up, does anyone have any questions they want to ask? Yeah. Me or uh, Nicole over here? Yes. We're opening the forum up. So if anyone Somebody wants to... doesn't mix it. I mean, everybody's pretty fierce about their. Uh, you know, people. You know, there we call it right the cult of the. <laughs> right? you know, your, your article did call it the cult. We're, we're very particular. We don't mind how much crumble you put on or flavoring. It's just make sure you get to appreciate all the effort that every. You know, we we have a good team here, and they're putting putting a lot of effort into every every day and every hour on this. Oh, somebody wants to know the best selling flavor. I think it depends on where you are. Down at the market, uh, and what time of year it is. Down at the market, Marionberry pie seems to be usually the favorite. And then we get to pumpkin season, and then pumpkin pie goes crazy for you know. Yeah, I don't <laughs> need the pumpkin spice latte. I need the pumpkin Eleanor's. Yeah, for sure. That's when I know Thanksgiving is coming. Oh wait, so somebody else asked also. Uh, I mean, where else are you distributed? How many? How many? Yeah. How many uh, so actually, what's special about the Keyline Pie? It's actually our first national Whole Foods release. So 
right now you can get a temp limited time in all Whole Foods across the country. It's our first time we're oh. going to be available in every every state. But if you go to that website, uh, there's a store finder that you can find it close to you. But in Seattle, it's our it's our other uh, local businesses. It's Metropolitan Market, PCC, QFC, uh, Ken, like a lot of the smaller stores that got us on when we first started. So Central yeah, Market, and the coffee, yeah. shops, too, and the right? coffee shops, right? Cafe Cherry Vita, Street. yeah, Cherry Street, yeah. Bring back lychee. Well, I haven't had the lychee. Oh yeah, the light, the lychee. We, we're we're working on it. We've been working on some new flavors, yeah. And then also, if you we, every so often, like right now, if you go online, you can get some shipped to some friends and family across the country. So we open it up for a limited batch to be able to ship it across the country. Yeah, what a perfect Seattle gift, right? Do I think it, that sounds yeah, brilliant. Do it for Fourth of July. You can enjoy it after on the boat after you're trying to relax a little bit. Yeah, somebody wants a pistachio flavor. Oh, uh, I saw a peanut butter too. I like how there's some, there is some, there's some, big fan, there's some big fans in there too because I see the Ube. I was just talking about that earlier. I think as as it gets on, we're starting to get busier. There's some all these flavors that we can get back in there. Yeah, is do you guys end up doing a cherry flavor in the summer? Rainier we, cherries. We, we've done a cherry flavor a few yeah. times, but uh, right now our um, if you ever see our milk and fruit line, there's a cherry vanilla in there that's. It's our milk and fruit is sweet. There's no sugar in it. It's just sweetened with the sugar that's in the milk oh, and naturally in the fruit. Wow. So if you see it, it'll be a metropolitan market. Wonderful. Uh, oh. The star favorite flavor. Yeah. A, right now. Do you get free yogurt? Do you work for Illinois? There's a lot Come of Come on, yogurt. tell it to us. <laughs> I, as I said, most all, all we're about is how good our yogurt is. It's always tasting. So we want to make sure that our team is always getting it. And uh, so they're always tasting and giving us feed enough. And uh, that's that's what we do. That's so everyone gets to try yogurt all the time. But there's not something out of the employee fridge that's always gone. Uh, right now, it's actually the, if you come down to the market, we have this temporary flavor that our pipe plate. If you ever come down here, our, our supervisor Renzo made it. To, it's an Egyptian dessert. It's a omelette. That one, if you ever come down here, it's a pistachio flavor. It's it's wow. with, mixed on our vanilla bean yogurt. It's really good. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yes. So please. Come down, support yeah. the market, support the vendors, enjoy Eleanor's. Maybe you'll be the next, you'll choose the next flavor. Yeah, just to let us know. Uh, <laughs> the, the Vegemite flavor, I have tried it. When um, beginning of last year, we tried to do a, some Aussie flavors for to raise money for uh, the Australian bushfires. I tried to make Vegemite work. It didn't work very well, but but uh, but but I, I'm, there. I'm working on it. And then at uh, Georgetown, well, We've, as things are busier and people are returning to work, Georgetown will start to look to open. We'll keep update. We'll keep you updated on our socials when it will. But it'll probably be limited hours. But we'll get Georgetown back on and running. We also need to find more people. So, hey, if you want to apply for a job, <laughs> <laughs> come on down. Oh, kids, Some, peppermint yeah. and mochi flavor. Summer break, kids. Come on, come over. It's fun down here. Yes, be a part of Seattle history. Hey, you got the ice factor. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so um, I think we'll just probably we'll start wrapping everything up. If anyone left, I think we're getting into time. So I just want to make sure that we uh, thank everyone. Thanks for coming to us visit uh, visiting at all. Um, uh, thank you, Metropolitan again. Uh, they're one of our our um, favorite, like one of our first vendors that really got our yogurt out there. And then um, Met, Seattle Met and Nicole. And I just and also I just want to thank everyone, thanks Seattle for supporting us, not only through this little time and other businesses, but thanks for from day one being being our 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 cult, our name, your bring your family here, sharing it with your friends. It's been really great to see that we have been adapt, like adopted as a Seattle brand. It's it's been a, Yeah, you're been, ours now. Yeah, it's, yeah you it's, don't get to go anywhere else. It's right? quite an honor. Great. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. No, thank you. Great, and congratulations. What an amazing collection. I hope everybody had a great night, great evening, and you're enjoying the beautiful weather. So we'll see you again soon, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Come down visit us down here.